have you been initiated? Amen. It's the subtle selling of the soul that happens all the time. And people that don't know that it happens, but it happens all the time. Amen. Now, um, most of what we witness, well, most of what we see, uh, especially in the music industry, what we're really beholding in videos and in concerts are rituals. And we don't know it because we don't have esoteric, well, we don't have occult knowledge. Occultists can look at videos and know exactly what this video means. A person who's not in it, who's not who doesn't understand or doesn't have any knowledge of uh, occultic things or hidden things, it just looks like a bunch of nonsense. Not nonsense, but it looks like it doesn't make sense. That's it. Like this, this you just see stuff flipping and flopping and boom, boom, and, and they cutting the scenes. And you don't know what this means, and right. and you, but and and all the while that you're, if there was no music, you would turn it off. It wouldn't make sense to you, but the music keeps you. The music. Uh, hold you so you will witness the initiation. The music holds you to witness the ritual. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because without the music, nobody would probably get initiated because nobody would fool with nothing that dark long enough to be, to be the initiate. Uh, okay, let, let me give you a little bit. Initiation means the formal admission or acceptance into an organization or club adult status in one's community or society. It means the ceremony of rights of admission. The other. So Satan's king, Satan has a kingdom, amen? And Satan's kingdom uh, works on the same way the kingdom, not it doesn't work the same way, but the, he tries to mimic the principle. God has, uh, God initiates you into the kingdom of God. Amen. amen. Once you receive Jesus Christ, you go through the, it's a ritual that happens, which we call salvation, and uh, you receive his atonement, what he did on the cross, and you enter into uh, the kingdom through, uh, through, through your confession and your belief, right? We have other rituals like baptisms and baptisms in the Holy Spirit. Are you there? But it's just a, basically an initiation into the kingdom of God. That means you are now a member. A initiation is just becoming a member, a membership. Are y'all there? So Satan has, so, so God sends out his initiators, which we call evangelists or preachers or teachers, and they, uh, they, 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 they teach the, um, they preach the, uh, the, the, um, the good news uh, uh, or the, um, they, 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 they talk about how great the membership of the kingdom is to make others want to be initiated into that kingdom, right? Um, if you, if you want to be honest, you can call evangelist an initiator. Um, now, Satan's kingdom is modeled the same way. He has, uh, he initiates you too to become a member. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And he sends out his initiators or evangelists. And because God's kingdom has a has the spirit of God that can bypass a man's spirit, uh, uh, that can bypass a man's uh, mind, and get in his heart, the spirit of truth can penetrate, the Bible says, even the word can go down to the joint and the marrow. Satan doesn't have that, so he has to have an avenue, a vehicle to ride into your spirit. By you, oh, you have to open the door, you have to yield and, sub, you have to yield and submit to him coming in. So he puts his initiation in the vehicle of music. You won't receive that, his, you won't receive uh, his message of his kingdom without the music. So, so he knows he has to put it in something that will make you open up for it. Is this too much? Now, so uh, he has evangelists. We call them entertainers or celebrities or stars. He has, uh, you know, church, which is the concerts and clubs. Are y'all understanding what I'm saying? Uh, he has worshipers. Same way as the church, he has he's, he has a kingdom. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Now, in his now, now, now God's kingdom is a kingdom of light. Say transparency. That means God to, tell you everything you're gonna get up front. Satan's kingdom is a kingdom of darkness or deception. You know you're gonna get out. You're not gonna know to the end what you're a part of. <laughs> are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Satan, God, are y'all there? 
God, God in the beginning, because God tells you everything, he showed you the sacrifice first. Amen. Then the benefit. The Bible says that Jesus despised the shame of the cross, that sacrifice for the glory that was set before him. Then he saw the benefit. But first he had to look at the shame, the sacrifice of the cross. Amen. Satan gives you, Satan shows you the benefit first. And you don't know about the sacrifice to the end. The cost comes at the end. Uh, are y'all hearing what I'm saying? So, so we have these two opposing kingdoms that are looking for initiates. <laughs> and, um, and so many, many, many of us, un, and that's why, uh, you know, Satan, and I told you, well, let me give you this before I forget about it, then I'll come back. Um, most of what we are witnessing and, and seeing now are rituals, literal, literal occultic uh, rituals, satanic rituals uh, wrapped up as entertainment. Now Satan is crafty. He knows that a person, if they, if if they, if they, if a person used the reality side of their mind, they would not receive what they're seeing. So he keeps it in a fantasy world in a way to almost make a person think it's fun. It's just entertainment. It's not really. It's it's not all that real. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He knows that entertainment will cause a person to let down their barriers of protective, protecting their heart and guarding their heart and we'll receive all the signals coming in. Are you, is this making any sense? So he, so what he does is, is he, um, he uses these people who we call celebrities and stars to cause us to fall in love with them. He gives them an evil anointing, a, a, a evil power of influence, that's a better word, um, to, 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 to manipulate uh, the minds and the masses of the people to cause them to worship the idol by way of taking worship away from Jehovah or taking away, worship away from Jesus which automatically by default cause you to worship Satan Satan don't mind you worshiping yourself because if you worship yourself a, a rock or a tree you can worship any other thing other than Jesus if you, if you don't change worshiping Jesus then he's stealing he's robbing God of his due so he doesn't care that you would worship a, a, a blues singer or R&B. He don't care about who's receiving the worship as long as God is not receiving the worship. Because everything else you worship is, 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 is going to lead you to him. He's going to receive the praise for it. Are y'all understanding what I'm saying? So he takes, so he uses, uh, uh, um, so um, he, in order to, now, in order to get a person to worship the, by default to worship Satan or to even participate in Satanism um, he has to get a person in agreement say agreement now agreement uh, the Bible says how can two walk together except they be in agreement they got to be in agreement Now, Satan knows he can't possess or do anything to a person that's not in agreement so he has to get you in agreement which is why he works on you from birth Working on you, trying to get you into a, an agreement. Through that now, now sin is what causes him to know when a person is ready for initiation. Y'all, y'all there? Because he releases his imps and spirits upon a person to cause them to uh, become full of sin, so they get to a point in their life where they're ready to become a member. Even though they don't know, because they think they saved or whatever, but they, but 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 their lifestyle. That's why Jesus said they 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 they, they, they worship me with their lips, but their heart far from me. Uh, y'all got what I'm saying? So what Satan is doing is he gets a person full of uh, disobedience to God, and a person has to repeat that constantly in order to. So Satan can show or prove spiritually that that person is in agreement. No matter what they're saying, they are in a, their life is showing they're in agreement with him. Because he can't do anything to a person except he get permission. But he can't get permission unless a person actually is in agreement. And that's why the Bible says, be not ignorant of Satan's devices. Don't touch his stuff because every time you touch his stuff, you're showing you're in agreement with him. When, you, if, when he sees your agreement, he's going to pursue you based upon your fact that you are in agreement. Are y'all there? He ain't gonna waste his time for people that ain't that's not going to yield. But because he knows that the human nature is to is to explore the forbidden, 
he tempts us with forbidden our whole life, even as a child, to get us into some type of sin. It, it doesn't have to be every sin, but just some kind of sin, which is the which is what is the um, it, which marks us in the spirit world for being initiated. So see, sin has a mark to it. Ask Cain. Are y'all understanding what I'm saying? Now, once he gets you in agreement, he must get you to participate. So it's not enough for you to be in agreement with Satan. Uh, you have to start participating in the ritual that will cause your initiation. Does anybody want to talk about this? Now, um, in every religion, because everything's false other than Christ, uh, they have rituals. Satanists have rituals. All every false thing has a ritual to it. The ritual is for the initiate. If a person is uh, uh, goes to a um, a voodoo seance person, okay, and they want to conjure up something, even though they didn't conjure it themselves, they have they have just been initiated by being a part of the ritual. That's why the, 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 the psychic or voodoo person has to go into the ritual, whether it be bones or crystal balls or some kind of something, to get you to participate in the ritual. Because the, the whole point is, it, you think that these, 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 these spirits are going to do something for you, but it's, the whole goal is to initiate you. Making you think Satan has something or, or this entity of the universe has something positive for you. See, that's the job of the initiates, which is psychic soothsayers and all these necromancers and all these different people with these titles, with these uh, 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 spiritual uh, satanic evangelist titles. Their job is to, is to convince you that there is help in the occult. There's help in the darkness. There's help. Say amen. You don't know how many people would knowingly go over to the occult when they're in trouble. Say amen. You don't know how many people go to the occult for some lottery numbers. You don't know how many people get mad at their spouse and they'll get mad at somebody broke up with them and go to the cult and get a spell put on them. Amen. Yes, people do stuff like that. Amen. This is real. They do stuff like that. Are y'all there? Amen. The point is the, the, the job of the uh, the job of the uh, of the initiator is to make you believe that there is something in there's something helpful in what they're in in, in, in this conjuring. Y'all got what I'm saying? Amen. The whole goal is to get you to participate. Because once you participate, now there is a, you, now you have invited Satan. He's been invited. Why? Through your participation in one of his rituals. This is why God in Leviticus and Deuteronomy and Numbers was telling them about don't do this and don't do this and don't do this and don't do this and don't do this. Said, so don't participate in none of these rituals. Don't do what the heathens doing. When you get utterly destroyed, them don't take none of their stuff, their money, their gold, their cow, they, they, they babies, nothing. Why? All of their stuff has already been initiated, and whatever has been initiated will initiate. This is what cursed objects are. People pray over stuff and give it to people. That object's initiated. If a person accepts it, receives it, they receive what spirit came with it. People initiate through food. Witches use food. That's why you don't eat everywhere. You don't eat after everybody. You don't eat. I don't care how good a cook they are. Soul food is some of the most witchcraft foods you can eat. People, some, that's people got business. Pray over that food to demons, to even God, to get the most successful businesses. That's called food sacrifice to idols. If you eat it, you receive the idol. You became initiated. I, 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 come on, talk to me. And so the initiator's job, now just like a psychic, a soothsayer, a clairvoyant, a tarot card reader, a palm reader, a, uh, 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 people who do Ouija boards or uh, any type of medium. See, a medium is just the person in between. The spirit in you becomes a channel to, to, to because they, are, they have already hollowed out their life for evil. That evil can manifest or come through them because they have already got rid of the light in them. So the darkness can come through and manifest, speak to people, do whatever they want to do, right? So any medium, are y'all there? Me, that's the job of a medium is to communicate uh, uh, the message of the dead or really of the spirit world. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? So um, 
So oh, let me get back. So the initiators, so the initiators, uh, oh, oh, so, so just like a, a psychic who say anybody reading tarot cards, anything like that, palm readers, the entertainers are the same, have the same spirit. It's the same spirit that these initi that these clairvoyants and these psychics are are, 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 are operating out of as the entertainers. The entertainers become initiators. The thing about entertainers is they have a they have a stronger satanic anointing because they 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 initiate masses at one time. This is the reason why every concert you went to, they get you to participate. Say, hey, what's my name? Come on, get get into the ritual. At some point in the at some point in the concert, there's there's a serious throw your throw your sign up some type of serious thing that begins to happen and the people feel this synergy yeah. Yeah. it's a synergy happening what happened is the spirit but in that over that person or in that person is now manifested and it's and, it, and it's and it's now receiving your applause to the idol as praise and worship to itself do y'all understand what i'm trying to say oh are y'all there so, so this is the reason why these the, the, the artists and entertainers have to be sold out demonic to demonically. That's why they have to be satanic. Because the spirit that's giving them the power to manipulate folk, they they do they may be doing it for riches. But the but the but the devil's using them to initiate folks into his kingdom. Those spirits have to be fed. So those so once those people get into that industry, they must start feeding the demon that is giving them the power. So that's why they gotta get into sex and drugs and they go crazy and they you know, the, you see these little girls, you know, these Britney Spears and Miley Cyrus and they keep doing it over and over again. Because once these little girls get, get into the true industry and they get one of them fallen angel spirits because them is the ones that possess masses of people, they're gonna use one of them. Oh, y'all wanna talk about this. They get one of them, they get one of them high-ranking demons, and all of a sudden they go crazy, they start taking their clothes off because that spirit is tormenting them, and they gotta appease them demons. Because the spirit is trying to get them to do it, because he knows you have the attention and influence of millions, and if you do it, they'll do it. So I got to I got to torment you to do it. So all of a sudden, these innocent little girls cut their hair off, go crazy, take all their clothes off, and people try to say, What happened? Well, now she's an initiator. And, I, and notice that they don't initiate, they don't go after the old. They go after the they go after the new generation, eleven and twelve year olds. Keep going after them, 10, 11, 12 years old. These little kids grow up with these stars, and as the star is initiated and goes on to deeper levels of membership in the kingdom of Satan, the kids follow them right into the kingdom. So basically, the, these stars are the Pied Piper. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Y'all there? So, um, when you see um, when you see artists, now that was what I was saying. So the artists are shamans or witch doctors or whatever you want to call them, but they are mediums. They are mediums. In other words, they can stand between the living and the dead. And communicate. Amen. This is what witchcraft is. It is being able to stand between the be alive yet communicate in the spirit world. Amen. Manipulate in the spirit world yet still be alive. That's what witchcraft is. Amen. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Are y'all there? Amen. So 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 these people become uh, even though they make this listen. Why do you think a lot of these artists, they try to go back to their Christian roots, but they can't? You notice they always try to go back and sing gospel songs, but they got to go out and do the perceptual stuff. But yet they, that's why they got to work. They're trying to work crosses. They're trying to do something to show that they know that what they're doing is an allegiance to Satan. They know they in the, are you hearing what I'm saying? 
Why? Because that torn. See, Satan won't, don't need to manifest himself to you because you are nobody as far as influence to him. But when a person has the ability to affect thousands or millions, Satan will show up and manifest himself to them. They will see these, these, these spirits literally, physically in their life. Because those demons have, will let them know you are receiving this knowledge and power from me. So you must pay homage to me. And what will happen? Have you seen they try so, somewhere along the line? They try to quit. I'm done with the industry. All of a sudden they try to go away and all of a sudden either there's people say they're crazy and, or, or, or they'll end up coming back and they'll be worse than they was at first. Why? Because there's, there's a spirit that says I made this, you owe me. There was a price to pay for the applause of the crowd. That's a price. See, I, show, I, I showed you the benefits, but the sacrifice is what's going gonna, gonna to cost you in the end. And then, I, then what happens, these artists start figuring out that, wait a minute, why come we only get exalted for darkness? Why can't we sing God? So why can't we do something positive? The more we take our clothes off, the more famous we become. Miley Cyrus was an old hillbilly. Nobody looking at that little girl. She got so taking her clothes off, all of a sudden she was an international star now. The more you willing to degrade yourself or be a part of the political narrative, pushing their agenda. Look at that guy, Macklemore. He's garbage. Nobody cared about who he was, but he put a gay song out. He became the greatest in last year. He was had the greatest album, but he's nobody. But because he was a part of the culture, he was used to push a message, to take that hellish message from, the, from hell and bring it through his medium and push it to the people that was influenced to believe that this, 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 this evil way of having sex was God's will. Does anybody want to talk to Pastor Steve? Oh, Lord. Thank you that I'm preaching on the internet. Are y'all understanding what I'm saying? Are y'all there? So, to be initiated, you must, you must be prepped. I remember a story about a, a rock band that used to uh, have sex with the little girls after service, after their show. You know, all them little groupies won't go in the back. And the rock man had a witch that actually chose which girls. So all these little girls are standing in the back trying to get with the rock band, and the witch would come out and look. And there was one little girl there that was trying to get back her, and the girls and the witch said, "No, not you. No, she got she, uh, she had this something light on her. No, she wasn't. She wasn't prepped through sin. She was a little follower. Some church girl was a follower." I think her father was a pastor, and she wasn't prepped. So they, they, they in other words, the, the ritual wouldn't uh, take effect on her. She wasn't prepped for it. Over in Africa, when these ritualistic people grasped, kidnapped kids, they, 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 they mess with them for about a day or two, uh, uh, doing different uh, spells on them, trying to see if it'll take. Because if it don't take, they, if, it, if the ritual don't take, then it could be reversed. Amen. And the demon actually starts attacking the person who conjured them up to attack the child. Amen. Deep stuff right here. This is, why, this is the reason why Satan has to know you in agreement before he attack you. Because he understands that if you just happen to be a, a blood-ball believer, there may be heaven to pay on that one. Amen. There may be a backfire on that one. He might shoot an arrow at you, and because you protected the arrow, might fly back. So he has to prep. Now, what is he doing? What is sin doing? Sin is putting out your light. It's put your light out so he knows you, 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 can, be, you can receive this. Y'all understanding what I'm saying? You can receive this right here because they, they, they are void of light. So the other little girls that's going on back there getting getting abused and getting demonically possessed but the other little girl was crying because she couldn't go back there not knowing God saved her life oh and that's what it was the, the, this preacher said her mother was home praying for at the time this was going on her mother was home praying for 
And they saw, they must have saw that spiritual battle. Amen. And so they said, no, not her. Are you there? Amen. So we've had a steady, we have, we've, most of us have had steady preparation. We grew up on steady preparation. Are y'all understanding what I'm saying? Most of us never had anything but demonic preparation. We saw sex in the house. We watched it on TV. We, all the horror movies. We sat there, little kids, watched it, got the spirit of fear in us. That's one initiate. That's, that's one step right there. All of a sudden, then we seen the sex. That's another step. Are y'all there? Then we saw people smoking and drinking and doing what they were doing. And, then we just, and so we just received and we being prepped. So then we got a good taste. So now we got a taste of sin. Satan couldn't get us yet because we haven't, we haven't, we haven't, uh, we haven't, we haven't gotten dark enough. So he, so then we get in sin and we get deeper in sin through fornication, through drugs, through, through uh, disobeying God. At some point in our life, there's a crazy thing that happens and we can't figure out how we got in this position. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? So. So this is the reason why music is always aimed at the young. They don't, do you notice they do not make music for older people? You remember all the older people music is gone. They do not make music for them. They make music for the young. Why? Because they keep initiating the young. The, as a, if a person can navigate and get old enough, they've already, they have certain blockers that they won't receive. That's why most people say it's stupid. You got his fans hanging out, he goes, he's still stupid. I don't see that. What is he talking about? Our nerves ain't like that. I can't, duck, duck, duck. we don't want that no more. We don't like all that beating, all that loud. We don't like it. We can't handle it no more. And, and, and because Satan knows that, it goes over our head. We don't see what, we don't see what he's doing with it. And, he's, and, and, and our children are sitting there receiving it. Can anybody handle what I'm trying to say? Are y'all there? So... If we, if we, if we, if so uh, 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 this message came about, I was thinking about this. I was thinking about concerts that I had went through when I was in the world. And I said, oh, why is all these concerts the same way? You know, and it's like, but even back then it wasn't as bad as it is now. But oh, better yet, the war shows. See, these are, are y'all ready? These are mass rituals that happen. Are y'all there? Now, 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 the, now, the goal of the ritual is to get you into grievance. It's for you to prove your agreement, basically. You're in agreement with this. Why? Because you're there. Amen. You're there. You don't, have to, you don't have to say nothing, but you're there. And while you up there, ooh, the stars, look at that. You're in agreement. Even though the stars are doing witchcraft, you don't see it. You don't see the music and the fun. And y'all ain't figured out what does this, this blood, this girl with the blood, what's this blood got to do with music? What is this? What, why they got to keep attacking Jesus? Why they keep attacking Jesus? And why Kanye West got to bring out and mock Jesus? What, what's this for? Amen. These are rituals that he's getting people. That, that's the spirit of the Antichrist. All them people sitting there watching him mock in a mock play of Jesus. And they're just receiving this ritual. The Antichrist needs for you to be an unbeliever. Amen. Can anybody understand what I'm saying? Are y'all ready? More, more prepping for rituals. Jesus can't save you. Life begins when the church ends. How many people received that without even thinking about what that meant? How many people received it and didn't, didn't even pay attention to what they was listening to? But they was vibing. They, listen, even though they didn't agree with that message, but they agreed at the time they heard it. The, the music vibed it on them. So even though they could say they didn't agree, Satan saw, oh yeah, you, no, you agreed with that when you heard it. So that's what Satan is doing with music. These people are not stars. They are prisoners now. They are tormented. They are demented. And their job is to lead you in worship to Satan. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So when you see these, uh, that time I saw something when Beyonce was doing somewhere and she was doing something and at the end she said, uh, put your hands towards me, let me feel your energy. 
I said, oh, all right, all right, there you go. There you go. That's initiating. She's initiating them. Now, now, see, a lot of them don't know. Now, a lot of them, it might have not took because it's mass. It might not took. Some of them might have had too much light. Some of them might not have been prepped for that. But there are those there that was prepped for that. The ones that were prepped for that, they got to visit that night. They got to visit it tonight off of that. Initiation has to do with once you are initiated, Satan shows up. Can we go deep? Can you see? Nobody want to talk about it. Now, see, nobody want to talk about this, but these girls are singing about having sex with demons now. Do y'all not understand where we are? They are singing about being possessed by incubus. One of the worst spirits you ever want to have is a, is a, is a succubus or incubus demon. But they talk, they saying it out, and now these young girls, they don't know nothing about God. They just, oh, that's, ooh, that must be fun. And they, they asking. These movies are initiations. Me and my wife watched, we, I said, man, let's watch this movie, Hercules. It was the girl was having sex with a devil. And got pregnant with Hercules. I said, this is what they do in Africa when they go to the witch doctor and ask for a child. They do, it, they do a ritual and at night the demon come and impregnate the girl. But the child is a demon. It belongs to the Satan. It's a child from the water kingdom. Oh, oh, black people, we don't know nothing. But we fight for this foolishness. What about the girl said, I kissed the girl and I liked it? They said, this said all them little girls into lesbianism. They was all in there. It was initiated after that into lesbianism. Oh. Satan is using, they are mediums, channeling Satan's messages from the dark side into this human world. Satan can't do it himself. He doesn't have a body. He doesn't have a vocal cord. He doesn't have a voice. Demons are unlawful. They can't, they're not supposed to ma manipulate this realm. So they need a body. They need somebody that yields to them. This is the reason why they got to get you conditioned so they can come and manifest without, without, um, without, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Without um, resistance. So this is why people who mess around in their cult, those spirits will tell them, don't you ever go to church. Don't you ever say Jesus. Don't you ever say that name. They don't even mention that. Don't you say that. Don't, don't, why? They don't want resistance. Then they keep a person, what do they, what do they keep a person doing? Drinking blood, blood sacrifices, giving themselves more over. See, the sacrifice is just giving yourself more over to the devils. It's just showing your greater agreement. As, as a person gets more and more in agreement, they get more and more possessed. The spirit can manifest easier. So they become a medium, a channel for Satan. And all of a sudden, whenever Satan wants a message, he uses them as his prophets. And that's why the, the record industry uses certain ones. That's why only certain ones can be famous. You should have learned that. If you watched American Idol, you should have seen only certain ones going to be famous. All in one singer ain't never going to be famous. It's only the ones that have that demonic anointing already on them or the ones that's been prepped. They, the, they've been prepped through, through pain and sin and desperation. Y'all ain't ready for this. They've been prepped through pain, sin, and desperation. And in other words, they will do anything to be famous. Every time they try one and one with a little bit of Christian in them, it never work out. That's, where, that, that's why the big boy, what's his name? Ruben, that's why, he, that's why you don't see him no more. Because he, he was saved for real. He realized you try to go in that industry, you're going to get yourself towed up. But the ones that are prepped and ready and, 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 and don't have a background there, they, they become famous. Are y'all there? Let me get on. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Come on, I'm trying to help you because you don't understand. You don't. It's, we're so blind to Satan's un, uh, to, to Satan's warfare. We don't understand his warfare. Are y'all there? So that's the reason why he knows. How does he keep people following him? He keeps that iPod in their ear. He keeps that music on. People cannot live without playing music. They, it used to be you couldn't work with music. Now you have to work. If it's work, they let the music play. 
Why? Because it keeps a person constantly receiving Satan signals, constantly, all day. How can a Christian listen to that and not be lusting? How are you going to overcome lust and you going watching this girl gyrate her body all the time? This girl's always taking her clothes off, saying about some, some surfboard or whatever she's talking about. See, y'all laughing because y'all know. And, no, and, and, and if, it, if it was about music, nobody sang better than gospel. Nobody. Nobody be the gospel, a real gospel singer. So it ain't about talent or music. It's about who is willing to be a channel. Oh, y'all heard what I'm trying to tell y'all. Are y'all there? Okay, let me, let, me, let, me, let me get done. Go over here to uh, Deuteronomy chapter 12. Deuteronomy chapter 12. Look at uh, verse, look at verse one. Are y'all there? Amen. This is what this is what God. Now listen, y'all look at me. Look at me. God never told. Did you notice? He never told the people when when they take his dust out and put it in a circle, they're doing a ritual. He never told them that. <laughs> he never told them uh, when they when when they cut a chicken head off and use the blood, they're doing a ritual. He never said that. He just told them, don't do this. Just don't mess with it. Because even being curious about it can lead a person into it. If a person ain't really anchored in Christ, you start studying that stuff, it, 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 it'll, 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 it'll lead you into it. We don't study the occult. Even if it's for a message, we study Christ. There are things I research, but I keep my Christ center. It's always about how can I bring this about in the word. I try to go to the word with mine. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Are y'all there? Don't, 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 don't get, that's a deception that Satan is using that he gets people so, when a people find the knowledge of the, of the demonic and realize the demons are doing what they're doing, a person will come, become engrossed and they start trying to research it and research it and look and look and before you know it, you will, you will end up having faith for devils. You're studying it too much. What you need to do, you need to, the Bible says, in his law do I meditate day and night. In his law do I meditate day and night. I don't meditate on all that other stuff. I meditate in his law. That's what's going to tell me right from wrong anyway. Y'all there? Okay. Verse 1, y'all there? These are the statutes and judgments which you shall observe to do in the land which the Lord, thy, the God of thy fathers, Give it thee to possess it all the days that ye live upon the earth. Now listen, this is, this is God telling them, now I'm going to tell y'all how to live. Amen. Why? Because the people that possess this land are occultists. Why? They operate now the forbidden knowledge that the fallen angels gave to uh, 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 Nimrod and them and gave to, the, to, to Noah's people before the flood. That's, that's the knowledge they have, and this is all about demon worship. Yeah. The fallen angels taught men how to how to do, how to, how to operate certain powers that God said were forbidden outside of him, but the, but the fallen angels taught those things to men, and for them teaching them to men, they had to pay tribute or homage or worship. What do demons like? Blood. That's why every culture was into human sacrifice. Why? They had to sacrifice to appease the, 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 demon, the demons or the fallen angels that gave them the knowledge to, to build Egypt and to build uh, uh, um, uh, uh, these structures that nobody can figure out how they did it and they know they had supernatural power because even the Bible said that Ethiopia and Babylon, now Ethiopia and Egypt had a limitless power. It was some kind of power they had. They didn't know what it was, but it was limitless power. That's how they built all that stuff. That's why scientists can't figure out how did they make, how they cut these ton stones. And it wasn't done with no slaves. They couldn't pick that stuff up. They had no cranes. But fallen angels show had super, gave them supernatural understanding. That's why they had the alphabet. They knew what they knew about space. They knew all this stuff they knew before now. They knew they had their hieroglyph with ships on it and spaceships on it. How do they know that? Fallen names gave them the knowledge. Before that, they had to. And Satan wiped out, tried to wipe all that clean so, so man would think he's evolving. Why? Because he wants the man to think he's evolving so he can show up and say, I am 
the great, I'm the one that y'all been talking about. I am this, this, I'm the one that created man. So that's why he got to wipe out the fact that man had any smarts in the beginning because we were asked where did we get the smarts and we know God didn't give them to us because God told us to just follow him and serve him. We got the smarts from the fallen angels who showed us forbidden practices. Those forbidden practices led man to, to degradation and self and killing and warring. So that's why all over the world every, every, every culture was into blood sacrifice. That's how they appeased the demon gods that they or for other 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 ancestors. Are y'all there? Amen. So God is saying this was this these are the type of people that that, that 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 the children of Israel had to face. So God was telling them, when I give y'all this land, it's already inhabited by people who do this stuff. Now you know they got statues of this, they got this stuff written on their walls. Don't be looking at their books. Don't be looking, don't be getting all into they how they did this and don't 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 get jealous of how they made this or how they do it. Why? Because this stuff was given to them by demonic power. And if you start envying and wanting it, that's why God told David them, never be jealous of the wicked. You don't know how the wicked got what they got. But he told them, to, that's why I said, oh, I'm going to show you, I'll read it right here. Look at verse 2. You shall utterly destroy. You don't want to know why God was like that. I mean, everything, everybody, you mean not Utterly destroy all the places wherein the nations which you shall possess serve their gods. There's traces of their gods. When I give you this land, you're going to see how they were serving their God. Now, destroy it. Yeah, Don't wonder about it. Don't fuck what was children of Israel's problem. God told them, I want to be a king. They said, no, nah, we want a king like the other nations. Amen. You had hundreds of years of, of bad kings because they wanted to be like the other name. God told them, I'm telling you all, your kings are going to take your sons in war. The king, Amen. he said, why can't I lead you? Are y'all there? Amen. And upon the hills, he, it says, uh, upon the mountains and upon the hills and under every green tree, this is where they were serving their, their gods at. They were putting altars, hills and mountains and high places and none big trees. And, and verse 3, and you shall overthrow their altars, break their pillars, don't touch their stuff. Yeah. Don't sacrifice on their altars. Whatever Satan is using, don't use it. Amen. Why? Why? It's already initiated. Why did God get mad when, when, when Saul kept those animals? I believe he kept them animals. No, when, when Achan kept that, stole that silver, it was already initiated. Only the priest could clean it. Oh, yeah. Look at this. And, and you shall overthrow the altars and break their pillars and burn their groves with fire them where they worship in them trees. And you shall hewn down graven images of their gods and destroy the names out of the place destroy the name. Listen, that's why you see it. All this stuff is underwater. They keep going underwater, finding this stuff. They got to dig down. Why? God buried that stuff. God buried the name of them gods. Don't even speak them. Why? Because just speaking those ancient names can invoke them. And now they done dug up everything and they speaking them. So these portals are being opened. These demons are being summoned back. Why? Man is ready now. They disobeying God. Y'all got what I'm saying? Look at this. He says, uh, he says uh, destroy the names out of the place and you shall not do so. You shall not do so unto the Lord your God. Don't put away my name. Don't do it to me. But unto the place which the Lord your God shall choose out of all your tribes to put his name there, even unto his habitation, you shall seek and thither. Thou shalt come, and thither you shall bring your burnt offering. He's telling you, I'm going to tell you all how to worship me. Show you how to serve me. I'm going to give you a place to sacrifice. I'm going to give, give you the way to do it. Because you can't do it like the heathens are doing it. Because if you do it like the heathens are doing it, you're going to get the results of a heathen. Are y'all there? Look at this. And, uh, and, and thither you shall bring your burnt offering and your sacrifice and your tithes. And heave off in there of your hand and your vows. And your free will offering, your firstlings, and your herds. Listen, listen, oh, oh, listen what he's saying. He's saying, I'm telling y'all where you bring your sacrifice. Don't take your money to that concert. Because in order for you to be initiated, you're going to have to pay. You do know there's initial sacrifice. That's why you got to buy them tickets. Without no exchange, there's nothing that's going to ain't nothing happening. There's got to be exchange, y'all. He said, I'm telling you how to worship. Don't be taking your money. To, and worshiping them false gods with it. Amen. You bring your money to the place I've already 
uh, 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 prepared so you to make a holy sacrifice. Oh, y'all ready for this or not? That's why I don't understand how people say they can take, uh, uh, they can, they can, they can serve the Lord and then go to the concerts. Go to the con, take good money and go spend it on the idols. When God is saying, "Look, I, 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 that ain't where I send my, that ain't where I send you to sacrifice." If you want to sacrifice, don't you, you bring your tithes here. Sacrifice here. I've already got altars for that. I got holy altars for that. That's not going to be contributing to Satan's kingdom. That's what you're doing when you're buying those wicked CDs and those wicked clothes and those wicked, all that wicked fashion and all that wicked. You contribute it to Satan's kingdom. Satan's kingdom is growing on your dollars. Yes. Because every time somebody see that rock of word you bought with God's money, it's, it, that rock of word sign is growing Satan's kingdom. It's testifying to Satan's power. Say amen. Every time you put money in those concerts and in back, to buy them tickets, you are funding the, you are funding the release of, of, of people being initiated. Yes. Y'all done there or there? Every time you ride down Broadway in the Derby, spending your money to buy, to buy stank clothes to be seen, you are, you, are, you, are, you are witnessing, you are manifesting Satan's uh, kingdom. Amen. You are sacrificing on their altars. Amen. Every time a Christian artist take that mic and get on that stage, that did, they just did a seance song. They are representing Satan. Because who, whoever owned the altar, owned what's on it. Amen. That's why I told them, don't matter if you got a good lamb, you have a pure lamb. You put it on the wrong altar, then you're going to be worshiping the wrong thing. You got to put it on the right altar. The Bible says the altar sanctified the gift. Gift don't sanctify the altar. So don't matter how anointed I am, if I stand in the wrong place, if I stand in a satanic place, God ain't going to get the glory unless he sent me there for a mission. But not for me to get no award from the world. Ain't nobody being worshipped but them demons that saying, look how we got the church. Dance for us, church. Sing for us, church. That's why David said, how can we sing in the strings? And we ain't supposed to be singing for y'all. We ain't supposed to be dancing on y'all stages. This is the stage where y'all initiate God's people. Steal the souls of the, of the, of the unsuspecting. Y'all there are not there. You never look at music the same. Look at this. And there, look, are you ready? And there you shall eat before the Lord your God. Eat there. And you shall rejoice. Eat there. You know where your altar's at? You know where one of your altars is? Your kitchen table. That's an altar. You better learn to eat there. Sanctified and eat there. Anointed with oil and eat there. Quit eating everywhere. On everybody's altar. Y'all don't know how much how powerful food is, but which is used food. Food is a great source of initiation. Why? Because that food goes into you. It goes into your body. Some curse has went into your body. They don't pray prayers and curses over that food and they go into your body. And you have no idea who's cursing it. If it's cursed. I know people, you can, you can pray over your food. The Bible says that. But there's some stuff that I already know is cursed. So ain't no need me praying over what I already know is cursed. Paul meant if you don't know, if you ain't for sure if it's cursed or not, then, then you know you can pray over it. But, but if you know it's cursed, so that's why I, um, it's just me. It's my preference. You do what you want to do. You eat however you want to eat, but I stop eating Chinese food. Because it's a, it's, a, it's a temple. It's an altar. That's a temple. It's good. It tastes too good. It's so good it made me know something was wrong. Then when I found out they cut up them little rats and mice and all that, cut up all that stuff in there, marinated, it all tastes like chicken. Ain't no tell what that stuff is. We learn. We we learn. We gotta walk. We learn to cook it at home. We cook it at home. I, I fry, fry my own rice. I toss my own rice. Then I know what these ingredients is chicken. It's real chicken. I'm putting it in there. Y'all don't see them on salt. See, we see we 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 okay. We we love what we love. But I'm just telling you, every Chinese place is a temple. It's dragons in there. It's dragons. It's temples. And them Chinese people pray to them Buddhas and gods to be successful. So everything they bring in there, coming from town, they lay their hands on it and pray prayers over it, and they pray and they and they bring it here, and we eat it and be cursed by it. 
I know nobody want to hear it. And I know you can't find, I know that here's your argument. Well, you don't know what's worth. I had a brother say, well, I don't, you don't know what, you don't know. I, mean, I had a brother say it to me, you don't know. I'm like, you can, you can offend your stomach if you want to. I don't care if you eat it. I'm just telling you, you wanted to make, a, make an issue of it. And I said, well, you know, that's true. We don't know what's cursed, but we, what, what, what we do know is cursed. Then we know better, because we know it's cursed. And if I go to a restaurant, I don't know what the cook did. I don't, but that's why I'm praying over that. But if I know I'm going into a, I'm, I'm going into a, 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 a temple. This is Shaolin Temple. I'm going in here and I know they pray to their ancestors. To, for, for success and, and, and power. And a lot of these soul food places do it. This place in this city do it. I had to make a decision. I ain't going to eat there no more. Found me another place. Went somewhere. I saw an egg hanging over the door. I said, oh, there it is. That's an old witchcraft right there. That old voodoo stuff. And it's somewhere where people eat all the time. One of the most famous places here. I saw that over that door. I said, oh, man. That, see, but, you know, we blind. We don't know nothing about the devil. We don't even understand what that means. I said, they done, they done, they done did some type of ritual and put something in the egg. And the egg, that's all that stuff they use in voodoo. I said, all right, it's all right. I don't want to say because they'll be watching. And I don't want you know. I ain't trying to make nobody you know think I'm talking about because it's a restaurant that everybody go to. But you just I just said it. Look at look for the egg. I tell you that. Just look for look 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 for you eat for you eat. Look. <laughs> but see, you know, you gotta understand that you know that that stuff comes from our. Old, old heritage, that old past where you know we used to do all of that stuff and we didn't call it witchcraft. Amen. You know, that old superstition religion where we used to do stuff, you know, don't walk under letters and you know, all this old stuff we used to say and you know, and it was just witchcraft, putting salt on people's pictures and putting people's pictures in water and all that old crazy. That's just it's voodoo, it's root working. It's root working and we and we should be surprised who still do it. You'd be surprised who still do it. And that's why I'm telling you, people don't like you, boy. They will, boy, if they into that stuff, they will put a spell on you. Oh, yes, it's real. It works. Yeah. Especially if you're ready, if you, if you, prep, if you prep with sin, it yeah. definitely work. Yeah. Let me get done. Look at this. Where I stop at? Oh, and, and verse 7, and there shall you eat, and you shall rejoice in all that ye have put your hand unto, and, you, and ye and your household were in the Lord that God had blessed thee. And you shall not do after all the things that we do, that, that we do here this day. Every man whatsoever is right in his own eyes. Don't do what you want to do. Don't do what you want to do. For you are not as yet come to rest and to the inheritance which the Lord your God gives. He says, it's not time. So you keep going. It ain't your time. But, but when you go over the Jordan and dwell in the land which the Lord your God, your God giveth you to inherit, and when you give it, and when he giveth you rest from all your enemies round about so that you dwell in safely, then, then there shall be a place which the Lord God, your God, shall bring, uh, shall choose to call his name to dwell there. Thither shall ye bring all that I command you, your burnt offering, your sacrifice, your tithes, your heave offering your, of your hand, and all your choice vows, and ye shall vow unto the Lord, and ye shall rejoice before the Lord your God, and ye and your sons, and your daughters, and your manservants. That means you teach your children this. This is your, this is your job to teach your children. You teach your children about uh, Lil Wayne. You teach your children about uh, Jay-Z. You teach your children about the, teach your daughter about Nicki Minaj. That's your job. And the Levite that it is in within your gates, for as much as he had no part nor inheritance with you, Take heed to thyself that thou offer not thy burnt offerings in every place that thou seest. Don't just touch the stuff. Don't, don't sacrifice everywhere. But in the place which the Lord shall choose in one of thy tribes, there shall thou, off, there shall, thou shall offer thy burnt offerings, and there shall, you, there shall all, all that I do all that I command thee. Now, not to say thee, thou, thou mayest kill and eat flesh in all thy gates, and wh whatsoever thy soul lusteth after according to the blessing of the Lord thy God, which he had given thee, the unclean and the clean may eat thereof and roll. He said, and listen, he said, I'm going to give you, I'm going to show you what you want. I'm going to give your soul what to want. I'll put that desire in your heart for what you want. Amen. Not the music, not the entertainers, not the stars. I will put it in your heart. Only you shall not eat the blood. There we go. This, these, these people are drinking blood now. Why do you think Twilight's so powerful? These movies, vampire movies are so, so in. Putting that thought in people's head. People end up now, they got cannibal movies out. Cannibal sitcoms about cannibalism. 
Don't y'all see the, it's a progression? We just keep going. It's going to keep on going until people get like Genesis 6, totally depraved. Yeah, amen. Let me jump down. Are y'all there? Verse 28, and I'm done. Well, I don't really want to deal with that. That, that. Yeah, that'll deal with that. Observe and hear all these words which I command thee, that it may go well with thee and thy children after thee forever when thou doest that which is good and right in the sight of the Lord. And nothing in there that God was saying was taking away no bad fun. He's telling them, I'm showing y'all how not to worship the devil. I don't have to tell you about the seances and show you all the demons. I'm telling you, don't do this. Don't do it. When the Lord thy God shall cut off the nations from before thee, whither thou goest to possess them and succeedest them and dwellest in the land, take heed to thyself that thou not be, be, be not snared by following them. How in the world? That's the reason why I had to crush that holy hip hop stuff. If you're going to rap, rap for Jesus, but that holy hip hop, I had to crush it because I realized, wait a minute, these church boys are getting their style from the world. They're following the world. How are you going to follow the world and say and sanctify with God? Do, 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 God ain't telling y'all tattoo yourself up. You getting that from the world. But see when them they, they but see they that show that shows you they they these 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 holy hip hoppers idols or uh mentors or who they look up to, it's not uh uh James John Matthew. Amen. They looking up to who they want to be like. And that's why what they what they do, what they do, they do. The other Take you to I said that I be not start be snared, not snared by following following them after that which they be destroyed. See, they be destroyed from for these, and I'm giving you their stuff. Why would you follow them? And that thou inquire not after their gods. Don't mess with their cult. Don't mess with their stuff. Saying how did these nations serve their gods? There's a question. How did how, how did these nations serve their gods? That's what's wrong with Israel. How they serve their gods? You don't want to know. That's why God didn't. You notice know God didn't tell them. He didn't go into how they serve their gods. He said, just don't do it. Just don't follow it. Don't worry about it. Just don't do it. You know it when you see it. Just don't do it. Amen. Even so, I will do likewise. See, I will do what they do. Thou shalt not do so unto the Lord thy God. For every abomination to the Lord which he hated have they done unto their gods. That's what we get at see. Every abomination. You can't name nothing that they ain't done. Just blaspheme the name of the Lord. And, 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 God, and, and, and Satan is using these mediums, these initiators. To initiate folks into that demonic kingdom. Yeah. And, people, and, and the sad thing about it, church folk. Yeah. How many church folk went and got initiated last night? Right. Right. Got up went to church this morning. Right. How many did that? Right. Went to church this morning, but went and got initiated last night. Sitting there with their hands up and already in another kingdom. Yeah. Because they didn't even come to church to repent for last night. Right. Now y'all understand what I'm saying? This is why we don't follow the culture. The culture is all about initiating, getting you into this other kingdom. Are you are y'all there? Last thing and I'm done. Uh, uh, thou shalt not do unto the, for every abomination of the Lord, which he hated, they have done. Even their sons and their daughters have they burnt in the fire to their gods. Look at look at look, look how bad. You think they're gonna set up Molex statues? Well, they got them in an abortion clinic. There you go. There's your, there's, your, there's your child sacrifice, what they were doing. Letting their children, they call it passing through the fire. It might not be fire, but they show cutting them babies out of them, cutting them out of them women and sucking them up and destroying them. Who's, I wonder who's getting worship. Who's getting worship? Are y'all there or not there? And this is the reason why God, listen, this is the reason why God, and see these cats that went over, uh, this is Middle East and this New Age, and went over and messed with them people's religions and brought their stuff over here and all this old crazy religions and mixing it all together, and now we're doing as the heathen nations do. And so we're reaping. Look at all the, you can't even turn on the TV. Every week a new disaster. I mean, every few days a new disaster. Flooding her, sinkhole her. Amen. Crazy stuff. Sinkhole. Can you imagine a sinkhole? I mean, that's, just, that's, 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 that's Old Testament stuff. 
the ground is opening up, swallowing folk. Man, that, that's Old Testament stuff. You can't, you, 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 and, and we don't even see it. And, 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 and you know what? And, and, and the reason why people don't get along, because they idols are still singing and get them singing and dancing. And they ain't paying attention to world wars and rumors of wars. We're going to go to World War III, earthquakes all around, financial system collapsing. Uh, 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 you know, the deviance in the streets, the homosexuals taking over, uh, you know, all the bad stuff is coming. It's upon us today, and we still singing and dancing because every time we get, we are waking up, they give you a Super Bowl, they give you a new concert, they give you Grammys, they give you something to take your mind off of your condition that, that you got a holy God judging this nation for the abominations that they have done against him. Stand on your feet. And that stuff ain't nothing but initiation. Why does music make you take your clothes off? Have you ever thought of that? Why? Why? Why does music make you want to drink? Why does it make you want to get high? Why? Because Satan knows it's power. He rides right on into your brain and your heart through that music. And you can't resist it because you're in love with beats. You're in love with grooves and rhythm. And not realizing you're receiving a whole loaf, though. You're receiving all the word, all this word, this evil word that you're getting in your heart. And you don't know you are in agreement with the Antichrist and don't know it. The Antichrist would show up today, the majority of people would be in agreement and wouldn't even know it was him. They wouldn't even wouldn't blink an eye. Because they are in agreement. They're already showing they're in agreement. Look at this homosexual thing. How many people's mind has changed about that now? Used to be people were strong on it, know it was wrong. The whole, all the church is coming out forward now. Everybody's caving and bishops, everybody's caving and falling down to it. Most people don't even think it's wrong no more. Most church folk do not believe it is wrong. They don't believe it. They may say it this in, in church, but they don't really believe that. Because they don't say nothing to them gay guys around them. They don't say nothing to them hairdressers. They don't say nothing to nobody. They are in agreement with that. We're in, this, we're in a time where wrong is right and right is wrong. And we got to be mindful of the initiators. Amen. When I look at this music, I look at Jay-Z, he's an initiator. Amen. Beyonce's an initiator. Yeah. Lil Wayne's an initiator. Yeah. He told you. He told y'all, love me like Satan. He told you. He said it. If, if you can't get no more, I mean, it's almost like, I know the devil's laughing. How graphic can I be? What more can I say? I mean, I'm telling these fools. I'm, I'm telling them it's me. They still will sit there and buy an album and blank out to it. The video was about hell. It was about hell and him, him being possessed and he showed it. And yet, they still loving him. Because he said, yeah, love me like Satan. And the people doing it too. People go, people were, because the whole goal of an idol, ride that, that fame to hell. They ride their fame, they go to hell for, 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 for idols and music. Riding it to hell. Ain't nothing, ain't no, ain't, 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 ain't no music that important to me. Amen. I'm not going to go through no big thing about off the call and stuff. You know what I'm going to tell you to do? Wean yourself off that music, fast that music. That's what I'm going to tell you. That's what I'm going to tell you. You know, we, you know we, we want this instantaneous delivery. No, no, you make, you use your will. Turn it off. Use your will. Throw it away. Get it out of your house. Leave it alone. You have to learn that God is going if, if, to, if God didn't tell us, if we didn't have any part to play, then he would never judge us for it. He knows that we can't stop that. But we're going to have to do it by making a decision. Are y'all understanding what I'm saying? I mean, you, you can't, you can't, you, you, I mean, if you, it, it, it's, it's so demonic me and my wife, you know, we was flipping the channel last, yesterday, and we just ran across this, you know, we don't even have, uh, I got rid of all that satellite and all that. We just have the internet. We just got the internet because we, I got a lot of stuff, business, uh, church stuff I do with the internet on YouTube and stuff. But other than that, we, we, I, don't got, I don't got all that stuff. Too many channels. That's instant distraction. You got any, in, you can instantly zone out. It's too much on there. And... Uh, but, but we was flipping this. It's, 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 we actually got regular TV now. Uh, not because we can afford I just I don't want it. I got, I got kids, and I'm like, no, nah, they don't need to be flipping no channels. But it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a channel on there called Bounce. 
and I was flipping, and it was a video on of, of, of Chris Brown. And I was telling my wife, and as we was talking, I said, baby, look, look, at, look, at, look at these fools. And it, I said, baby, well, look, all like, look, it's all for little kids. Like the, the people here look kitty. The girls look kitty. Everybody look like they're children. They, they're catering to them kids. But they're sexy, but kitty-like, you know, like look, like little girls. And then not, and, and I'm talking about within, within, within one minute, I heard the Holy Ghost say, this got you. Because he, when he was dancing, he did some type of move. I said, dang, that's, and I was kind of, I said, dang, that was a, how did he do that move? He got you. Does that look what? You know when the Bible said uh, uh, that in, in Revelations, when Jesus was giving John the revelation of the harlot, and he said he wandered after, no, the beast, he wandered after the beast. <laughs> he said, don't be, don't be wandering after the beast. That's what happened. I, it, it, it caught me up. I was one. Got you. And I'm a pastor. That's how strong that is. That's how strong that is. I'm telling you, you put that stuff on and it's something on it. It's, it's, it will take you, it will take you back. It'll take you out of there to a club. It'll take you somewhere. It, it'll make you, it's, a, it's, it's the spirit of the world. You'll feel it. It's a worldliness to it. And, you, and your mind will want to see. Let me see a little bit more. Let me see. Said what people do ain't got no Holy Ghost, ain't got no 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 nobody to say stop. Amen. They you, children they saturated with it. That's why they wake up singing. They can't even and they when they talking they have to put a song. They got to get the lyric and they talk. They you see them walking down the street just talk. just rap to themselves. Sometimes they ain't got no music on. They just, it's in them. They caught up. And that's why they, a lot of them can't even hear the gospel. Because that, that, that stuff is so in their ear, they can't hear the gospel. That's why if you want to live right, that's the first thing you got to change. You can do it. You ain't going to die. The first thing you got to change is your music. First thing. It's very difficult. I don't care how old, I don't care if, what, how old, I don't care if you're talking about old music from the old day. That's, you can't even that. It don't matter. You can't listen to none of that drinking music. You can't listen to none of that stuff. You have to, and it's so bad, uh, L-O-U play that stuff at night. So how in the world, you can't even. They praise him in the morning. Praise him, praise him. Hezekiah Walker, praise him in the night for the good time. All the good work you just done in the day, you just canceled it at night. I was feeling good throughout the day, but at night, it's, you don't you get me, help me get my freak in me. We, we got to realize that Satan is very crafty. Amen. Lift your hands. I'm going to pray. My prayer is a simple prayer. My prayer is, for course, is that we repent, but it's also that we don't just take, we don't just try to use that and not change, but that we actually do put action to this repentance. If we know what's wrong, it's wrong. God says it's wrong, it's wrong. Amen. And that we don't make an excuse. The Bible said don't make no excuses for the flesh. Don't make no provision for the flesh. Your flesh likes it. I'm telling you, your flesh likes it. I know no matter how long I've been saved, if I ever want to backslide, all I have to do is listen to this music. And I could go right back to where I was quick and quick in a hurry. I mean quick. You can go back in a couple of hours if you really want to go back fast. It'll take you faster than liquor or drinking. Music will take you faster. It, it, is, it is one of the most infectious things that we overlook as the most spiritual thing that we listen to. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And so you have to, first of all, pray. Repeat this first. Let's get this out of the way. Say, Father, Father I come to your name of Jesus. I, Jesus. I, repent, I repent for every, for every initiation, initiation that I was a part of, that I, a part that I didn't know about, didn't know about for every concert, every concert that I went to and worship an idol. Worship an idol. I, repent. I repent. In the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus. Every, evil every evil initiation upon my life, upon my life. Break. break in the name of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, blood of every, evil every evil initiation, break, break. In, the of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.